Hey guys, welcome back. Thought I'd do a review on the Apple Vision Pro working out. It's something I haven't seen yet on YouTube and I'm really interested to see how it works, like with the screens, being able to put them in any position that you want. So the normal thing that we do when we go to the gym and I have, lucky, luckily enough, I have my own home gym. So I'm able to do this here. But when we go to the gym, we have to take our phone or maybe we have a tablet if we're at home or a laptop and we're using the phone and we got to keep track of it. So I was like, all right, what would it be like if we wore the device and we could see like our workout plans or our music, you know, we'd have our music playing and maybe, hey, we have a YouTube video playing over here or something. I don't know, but let's look at it and see what it is. So normally, as I said, we have an iPad and what I do, I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna open my iPad and I'm gonna log into my workout thing. I'm gonna set it over here on my bench and after every single set, I'm gonna go work out. I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna log the set and the reps, all of that, the weight, and then I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna go back and forth, back and forth. So it's not bad and it works, but hey, let's see what doing it in the Vision Pro is like. And then the other option is, you know, you got your cell phones and you can take them and if you're trying to watch like a demo video, right? So you're trying to see what you're doing, but you're kind of limited to one view angle. So what if you're doing a bench press or what if you're doing a push up, or what if you're doing, I don't know, any other squat, whatever the workout may be, and that's there, but you can't put it there. But with the Vision Pro, you can. All right, so we got our Apple Vision Pro. Let's go ahead and put it on, get logged into my workout account, which is, by the way, Athlean X, highly recommend it. Shout out to Jeff Cavalier, who has, does an awesome workout program, been following it for about 10 years now, and love every single program that he puts out. So a little plug for him. So yeah, let's put it on, get logged in. Let's get this workout going. All right, so first thing, you have the face mask. It's really good for holding on to the Vision Pro, I've noticed it's a lot different than grabbing the light seal, which I tend to do anyway, and then the light seal pops off, it's magnetic, and it falls to the ground, that's terrible, but you do it like I just did it, it really improves your handling, and then you just take it off, and I've noticed that the display comes right on, so you gonna have that lag if you put it on, you know, with the, with the cover off, but when you do it that way, you don't notice it as much, because by the time you get it on, you tighten it up, you do all your stuff, right, and then you pull this off, it's like just coming on and it just, it, I don't know, it tricks your brain. So here we go. So here we are, we've got our, you know, home screen as we all know. And let's go ahead and log in to my workout program. All right, so I got that pulled up. Here's my workout. As you can see, I've got all my instructional videos, but I wanna see what it's like to use this and put my instructional videos like in front of me when I'm doing the workout and be able to move them around virtual space. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my headphones over here, get those in, because what do you do when you go to the gym, right? You grab your headphones, you pop them in, you wanna get some music going, to get this workout going good, and set that over here. All right, Siri, open music. All right, so let's go ahead and get this here. I'm gonna set this over here on this side, and let's see, let's make this a really big display so I can see all of my music really well. I'm gonna put that in front of my light there. All right, let's go ahead and go over here. And well, that's not what I'm looking for. Radio library, listen now. Usually that's what I use. Uh, get up mix. Let's see, where's my workout? I'll just use this for right now. Let's do it. Let's do the get up mix. Usually I have a workout playlist that pops up. Also haven't used this yet. All right, so for obvious reasons, I'm not gonna have my music playing for you because DRM stuff, but I have to take my word for it. Song's playing. All right, so let's go ahead and get this workout started. I'm gonna set up the stuff. Also gonna watch the headset. Let's go. All right, so come in here. Oh, I almost forgot start my workout, right? So I'm gonna go on my Apple Watch here. I'm gonna go ahead and start the workout. All right, ready? Let's do it. All right. So I'm gonna look at my workout history. I'm gonna see like what I did on this workout, for instance. All right, so 90 pounds was what I did. Lower that just a little bit. I remember last time that was fairly hard on my back. 
All right, let's see. That's 45. Let's go to 85. That ought to be good for right now. All right. So we sit down here. I've moved my display. And now I've got like my entire wall is now my workout video, which is sweet. Like if I want to watch this here, I get this set up. I'll scrub through the footage as soon as it loads. Shows me what I'm going to be doing. We'll see here, let's scrub through about 40 seconds in or so, where he shows you the workout. And this is just amazing. Like I've got my music over here. I could switch it up if I need to. It's obviously auto switching between the two. So he's going to show you what your workout is, what you don't need to do. Cool. All right. I'll pause that. Put that back down. There's my workout. All right, let's go ahead and start my first set. All right. So first thing I have to say after doing the first set is that it's a little warm. <laughs> In the headset, starting to feel the steam build up in the glasses. May lessen the weight this workout, just so I don't sweat to death in this headset. That's something I would have to say, like just going into it. I've worked out in the MetaQuest and I've gotten, you know, uh, Beat Saber and Pistol Whip, which that's a workout, and some other uh, workout apps that I have on there. And you start sweating. And this, unfortunately, I don't have like any silicone covers for the a light seal or anything like that or any of those uh, single use ones. So that's something that I definitely will be investing in if I plan on doing this in the future again. All right, so let's see, let's log my weight here that I worked. So that would be 85 pounds, right? And I'll go ahead and hit return there. And let's go there and that was 12 reps. All right, don't have that long of a rest until it's time to go again. So let's, let's go ahead and open another page. So let's open up another browser, right? Maybe I want to research something and look at something while well, I've got, you know, a minute and a half or so in between rest times. So let's go, Siri, open Safari. Ah, okay, that's right. She wants it to be, so let's go new window over here. Did you see, <laughs> it's exactly what I told it to do, as computers are computers. <laughs> It opens Safari, just move Safari. All right, so we'll put that over there. And I've got this and say, I want to look at, I don't know, YouTube, right? Dot com. There it is, broadcast yourself. All right, so let's go ahead and make that one like insanely big, right? All right, now that is awesome. So I can sit here and while I'm working, I mean, obviously you can kind of see the light fading through, but in a real situation, you're not gonna have that. <laughs> Maybe you might have some gym equipment, right? So, but I've got that. I can scroll through, see what I wanna watch. All right, look at that. Close my move ring. What do you know? All right. Go ahead and log that again. So one nice thing is, I got my break here. One nice thing is, when I'm entering my reps, I'm like not really leaving. Like I could walk around if I wanted to, obviously, like I am. But I'm not having to leave. Like I'm sitting there on the bench. I'm able to look. I'm not touching a screen. So your hands get sweaty. You're getting sweat all over your screen. It's nasty, right? To log your sets and wait. But that's something that's really cool. Just, you know, pinching fingers together. So another thing I can do, and I could bring this maybe, say, a little bit closer over here. And I can like scroll with my finger. So I grab, you know, more like a iPad or iPhone. So hey, now I've got my iPhone, <laughs> well, yeah, more like an iPad size screen right here, right? I can hover that right in front of the screen, or right in front of my cable here. I could scroll up. I could be like, all right, so you know, there's the cable. So there it is. Look at that. I could enter my sets. Let's say the next set, I'm going to just guess. Let's say it's 85 pounds, right? We know that. And it's going to be 12 reps, right? So return and go ahead and close that out. Go down and save. And look at that. I didn't touch a screen. I didn't do anything. I just touched the air, right? That's, that's insane in and of itself. But that's really useful because I'm not having to interact with sweaty 
greasy, maybe dirty hands, depending on the weights you're handling. Maybe they got a little rust on them or something. You don't want to get the rust on your nice white iPhone case or I don't know, nice white Apple Vision Pro or <laughs> Vision Pro case, right? All right. So we're gonna go ahead and set up for the next workout. So one of the things I'm noticing is that I'm gonna to need to be very careful as I don't have a screen protector on this. I do have one coming. I'm interested to see how that functions. I don't have anything protecting, you know, the glass on the front. And I've seen reviews where the glass is pretty durable, but I am not interested in finding out what it's like to break the Apple Vision Pro glass while working out. So one thing I have to say is, is you're turning your head and one downfall, as amazing as this headset is, one downfall is that if you whip your head real fast, you'll notice some motion blur. It's not insane. It's nothing like the Quest where it'll, sometimes it'll like glitch and lock up and then, you know, or things like that, but you will notice it. All right, so see, like I started this. Let's go ahead and see. I know what this does obviously, but let's go ahead and load it up. Scrub through my footage here. I have to say, I don't know, I, I love touching the screen, but I also, the, the you know, double tap is just amazing, this two finger tap. So see, he's giving me my workout instructions. All right, let's go ahead here and let's pause that real fast. Let's slide this up, get ready for the next set. I don't know why I lowered that or raised that, I should say. All right, let's go over and grab this here. Again, being very careful not to hit the headset. I'm not interested in breaking this. So, all right, so let's go ahead and grab this. We'll push this back maybe a little bit farther like that so it's not so in the way. We'll start that. All right, I'll go over here. Oh, look at this, I'm walking up to a screen <laughs> that is, I don't know, as wide as a car. <laughs> like my Camaro's over there and I'd say it's at least as wide as a car. So I'm sitting here scrolling all right let's go ahead and grab this and pull this over here right back to where we were I'll go ahead and scoot this back here all right ready and one two three four five six Seven. All right, three, four, five, four. All right. Okay, so we got a little bit of a break here. So that was something that was interesting. So I was working out and I walked over to the screen that was over here and I noticed the screen like just jolt for a second. It was a very, very like millisecond jolt. I was like, that's weird. So I looked up at the top of my screen. I was like, okay, let's look at like, hey, it's not session recorded anymore. So that was interesting. I don't exactly know what's happened. And a little bit after that, the um, Safari browser crashed. Now I am doing a lot. I'm running, I say a lot, shouldn't be a lot, right? So I'm running the music over here and it's going back and forth between the video, you know, watching the demonstration video and then going to the music. And then if I'm talking, I'm trying to like intertext talking, trying that stuff out. So I don't know, not a whole lot's open, but very interesting that that happened. We'll keep testing, see what happens. This was one of the things I was worried about is like hitting something with the goggles. So I'm gonna go ahead and like put my hands up here, right? So yeah, that's not bad. All right, know pretty much where that is, right? All right, so let's go ahead and start the next set here. All right, all right. So that set's done. I bring my screen over here. Take a seat in front of the camera and go ahead and edit my workout, right? So I'm done there. I'm gonna go ahead and make that the 10 uh, reps instead, of, or the two sets rather. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that the two sets instead of three today. I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm already sitting at like 22 minutes. <laughs> so, all right, 75 and then click there. And okay, see, a little bit of disconnect between the Keyboard, I don't know if it's a distance thing. That's interesting. 75 re reps was 10. The keyboard works really well. I like how this keyboard works. It's a lot better than the Quest. Like I know I can only still use my index like the Quest, but it doesn't click other things usually. I've had it a few times, but 
very rarely. It's not enough that I, I notice it. And three, four. There we go. All right. Go ahead and save that in there. All right, so we'll go ahead and get set up for the next one. Do some tripod rows. So this is going to go here. And I'm going to make that pretty big. Go ahead and open that up. So while I'm getting set up here, uh, actually, I need to tear this down before I whop my head with this and the Vision Pro. So that's something I wanted to try. I want to see, like, I'm, I'm standing all the way back here, right? And I want to look and look at, okay, that's not bad. That is pretty good, right? So that, that got pretty decent size there. I have to get used to, that is one thing, and I guess that's the learning curve here, and I said it in the other video, like looking with your eyes is probably the biggest thing you'll have to overcome here, is that where you look, and so you do, you are, ingra it's ingrained in you with like a mouse or even a touchpad where you go and you touch something, and you're touching something you're not necessarily looking at, it's kind of peripheral vision, and this is dead on what you have to look at. All right. Let's go ahead and open another app here. Let's see, I wanna look at the app store while I'm, you know, got my music up, got this up. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that, there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and go over here. We'll go back into the app store, see if they've added new any new apps yet. We got the DJ app, got synth writers, Played that in the car the other day. That video's coming out. That'll be pretty interesting. Traveling with this is, it's unique. Uh, got a little few hiccups there too, but again, this is a first gen product and it's been said before in other reviews and it stays true. This is the worst it will ever be. Like this will have other iterations and it will continue to get better. I, I, I liken this to the original iPhone. I got my original iPhone. It didn't even have an app store, right? Like. It was a two megapixel camera, I think, maybe four. I don't even think, no, I think it was two. And it was 2G, not 3G, like all the other phones. So there were some, it was behind the times while also being way ahead. And this, the Vision Pro is very much that exact thing. All right, all right, let's go ahead and put this weight up here. Walk through the screen. <laughs> that was interesting. So you can see the screen, I'm in the back of it and just clips right through. <laughs> That's really interesting. All right, let's go ahead and look, this is my main window here. Now we're gonna move on to shrugs. All right, so we'll clip that again. I have to say, I really like how the headset handles things. Because, like I'm over here, and if I wanna change something, I just grab the, you know, I'm scrolling through the website, scrubbing the footage. Again, from a distance, it's a lot harder to interact with smaller objects where it feels like it, because you're looking usually at the whole page. You're not looking at the individual things that you want to interact with. And so it, you'll like look, I'm looking to the right and I'm there and then now I'm looking to the, to the left but it's interacting over here, right? But, cause I'm not focused with my eyes. All right, so those are sitting at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70. Okay. Again, I really love the ability to wherever I am, I move the screen with me, right? Like it's not, it's not over here, it's not on the floor, and if I wanna watch this, so like, all right, let's try to copy, you know what he's doing here. So grab this, and we'll go up. This makes it a lot easier to focus on what he was doing, right? And the only thing I'll say, having the battery pack, I have it over here on my side. It's a little annoying. You're working out, you know, doing something like that. My arms are rubbing against the battery pack, so. Maybe for there, you might want to move the battery pack. That might be some stuff to think about. I really got to say, I want, I want to go back here and like 
when he's doing the demo, demonstration and it loads up. So I'll pause there. Like I'm listening to him tell me what to do, but I can visually see it. Now, obviously I can't see myself. That's one thing I, you lose your peripheral vision in this, which you lose in any VR headset. So it's not really the Vision Pro's fault. It's just VR, AR, you know, and MR stuff as we are in that current field and where we're at in the, you know, the technology that we have. Let's go for the next set. It's time to go. Call that set done. All right. What was my weight here? So I don't know if you noticed, but when I'm moving through the screen, it was definitely like I'm, I'm moving through it and you see my hand as I'm in here, right? And there's the thing hitting my thing, but hitting the goggles, but my hand's interacting, but I'm grabbing weights behind here. So I can't see them. You probably can't see them. But the screen, it's like, it's my entire hand. I'm like scrolling with my, <laughs> that's new. I'm used to doing this, right? That's interesting. That is really cool. The inclusion is amazing. I, I have to say that that inclusion is just, it, bar none, amazing. So having to be very careful not to hit the headset, because I'm definitely, I can feel like I'm really close. Maybe I'm not, uh, again, look at the footage, but it feels like I'm closer than I probably am. So as you'll notice, I'm sitting there and I'm maybe not in the right complete posture, but it's because depth of field sometimes in this, I, I feel like it's a lot farther out than it probably is. I, I realize it's only about right there, but something's coming at my face, it gives a little bit of a depth perception that's interesting. So let's go ahead, get my dips. So he wants me to do a weight, so I'm gonna try something. I have not tried this. This is the first time I'm trying this. I'm going to try to put on that weighted vest over the headset, but I gotta take some weights out of it first because I don't wanna do it with it sitting at about 30 pounds. I feel like that's, well, you know what? Let's do it. I think I should be able to miss the headset. All right. This should be interesting. Well, as you can see here, I got a warning, adjust the fit of the Vision Pro. Um, that was interesting. I got a bumped it, I guess, and reset the, the eyes. And it was like, hey, maybe you shouldn't take a vest off, or rather, maybe you shouldn't put a vest on, and then I'm gonna have to take it off with a headset on. But I had to try it out, I had to see what I could do. All right, so here we go. Got a couple sets here. The only thing I'll say too, before I hop into this last, next to the last set, is that the cord can get annoying if you were working out. Um, it gets in the way sometimes, you feel it, you're like, hey, what's, what's that, what's touching me? Because you can't see to your left and your right, and your peripheral's blocked, as I said before. So it's definitely not, without its flaws, I guess. I guess if you look at it, a phone, you set it on the ground, you gotta worry about stepping on it or someone else stepping on it, but that's about the only thing you gotta worry about. Let's go ahead to our last set here. I'm gonna go ahead and start this. I wanna see if this is what stops it. All right, one. So I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna switch it around here. I'm gonna put it in front of my face there. And that works really well. I don't have to grab my phone. I'm not trying to hold my phone out here and try to watch the video while I'm doing it. I can see what he has me doing. 
That's really nice. I think I'm done. I've got well over an hour workout in and went a little longer than I planned. Gonna have to condense this down. Definitely not gonna be an hour long video. Um, but yeah, that is working out with the Apple Vision Pro. I have to say one of the things that it does, the I'm checking right now even in the headset, it seems that when you have multiple things running and this doesn't impact working out, it impacts filming. When you have multiple things running that are audio, I think it's audio, I'm gonna have to do some more testing and see, but when they're running and say a video plays and maybe you have audio playing and it switches back and forth, it seems to stop the recording and it doesn't really give you a warning, it's just kind of done. So if you're recording, doing any screen capture for anything important, jobs, YouTube videos, whatever it may be, just keep that in mind. You're, at least this trial run, it's definitely been a little troublesome. That's why it's run over my time here. But one last thing I wanted to do, so I'm gonna go ahead and go up over here. We're gonna open a, grab this, can I? Oh, can I not grab that and pull it out? I can't, there we go. So that's cool, see, just grab that, pull that out over here. So I'm gonna go to YouTube youtube.com so that's another thing you'll notice is that sometimes you'll be doing things and notice I'm checking now because I'm trying to wrap this up you'll be doing things and you'll tell it to do something and it will like it'll move things where necessarily you don't want them now I guess I was I was looking over here at camera and then I wanted to put a screen over here so I grabbed it and moved it over and then told it to open a web page, but it moved everything all at once. So that was something that was interesting. Yeah, see, I almost like the keyboard typing better. It's almost a better experience. We're gonna do a push-up demo real quick. I wanna try that. I'm gonna run a real quick abs. Just I wanna see what it's like, like follow the abs, like move it on the ceiling. I've seen it like left and right. We've seen some screens around the room, which we've all seen in Vision Pro, but kind of like what it's like working out with it maybe a little bit. And so let's go ahead, this is a push-up demo. Let's go ahead and search for that. So, hey, look at that. Athlean X, first thing that comes up, the perfect push-up. All right, so let's load this up here. We'll play this, go ahead and scrub through the footage. There we go. All right, so let's put it here. All right, so let's grab this here. Gonna go down to the ground and let's see what this does. So that's interesting. So it's not wanting to go even though I'm looking down, it is not wanting to go down to the ground. Now I guess I can be here and do this, which as I said, you're definitely, you know, there's that, you're too close to an object, look out. So maybe that's the ground, that's interesting. Maybe that's just the sensors telling me I'm getting close to like something I'm about to walk into. So one thing is, and your face touches the ground or nose. Definitely interesting to do push-ups like that. That is interesting. But I would definitely like this to be able to go on the ground. And I guess the you know LiDAR is probably reading the, um, the distance between the ground and saying, hey, that's, yeah, I can't go there. But that doesn't make sense too because there's a wall there. So. I'll have to do some more experimenting and see. Another real quick thing I'm gonna do, not gonna put any real weight on it. I wanna grab this. I'm not gonna throw my regular barbell on, throw that down there. I am going to do a quick bench press and see if we can put it on the ceiling. All right, so let's go ahead and grab, we'll just grab this window here. Make sure that's there. Oh, now see, that is rather cool. A little weird on the headset. Definitely wants to slide back off my head when I'm laying down. Let me tighten this down just a little bit. Maybe that's the problem. Probably bumped it when I put the vest on earlier. Well, let's see, where is a good viewing angle? So imagine if you will that you're here. Let's see. No, necessarily, oh, I gotta look at the right thing with my eyes. So you're here, you got a, you know, a video popped up. You're doing a, a workout. 
we got a bench press. We got this here, pushing up. You can see the thing. I'm going to lock this into place. So, you're like watching the demo, and obviously this is not a bench press, but you get the idea. You're watching it. You're able to see what it's doing. Can look down. Can't really see the bar. That's another thing. I guess you could if you grab the screen here and shrunk it and maybe moved it more up. There we go. So there, you're laying on the ground or on the bench. You're looking straight up. So the last thing I'm gonna do is try some sit-ups and we'll wrap this video up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get down on the ground here. I've got my headset ready and open that up. All right, let's go my entire core here. We'll just do body weight for this and we'll go ahead and shuffle the workout. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna put this about there. I think that should be good. Start our workout here. So this is something where I definitely, like I said, I think that working out and doing abs, this would be, or any instructional video, would be really helpful. So I'm here, he's showing me what to do. Got my legs up, and there we go. I'm gonna go through this here real fast, but I'm able to see my feet. So I'm able to see what I'm doing, see if I'm, maybe I could keep tempo a little bit more with him or whoever you may be watching. Because sometimes if you're just leaning back here, you're looking up, you don't have anything. So you're, this definitely makes it easier. I will say, noticing a little bit of neck strain just doing this. But I think that's because I'm talking while doing this and not able to breathe properly. <laughs> Whew. I gotta say, talking and doing abs, you want a workout. Oh, yeah, that's it. Go ahead and close that out. All right, so with that, I think that about does it. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this. Take my headphones out. And that is a workout in the Apple Vision Pro. So, just wrapped up working out. Have to say, it's really cool to use the Apple Vision Pro to work out. You can move things around virtual space, put them on the ceiling as we know, stuff like that. Get to interact with screens without getting them dirty. The screen's really dirty right now because my hand's sweaty and dirty from working out. I'll have to clean this after. A um, couple downfalls, screens going out, recording, stopping, mid-screen recording. But all in all, with the grain and with the downfalls, I can see this in the future where we're in gyms with a pair of sunglasses and that's all we've got. And we're able to take our demo videos for working out or whatever it may be with us everywhere we go. So yeah, that was the Apple Vision Pro in a workout and we'll see you next time.